Hey everybody, here's Pete's Waltz, written by my friend and yours, Pete Martin. Here we go. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the basic melody tutorial for Pete's Waltz. So I thought a little bit about how we're going to approach this and because this waltz is essentially just full of double stops, what I thought we would do is just sort of strip it down and really get the melody down because the melody by itself absolutely holds up. It's beautiful in and of itself and it's a good opportunity for you to do a little playing in E flat, which you maybe haven't done a ton of, um, but hey, no time like the present, right? So let's get into it. We've got a lot of parts to cover, so. <laughs> We'll do this and we'll we'll do the, the melody and then uh, over in the advanced tutorial, we'll add in all the double stops and kind of get that picture filled out that way. But let's learn the melody now and see what we come up with. So you're gonna walk down. So E flat, by the way. Low ones, low twos, low fours, low, 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 lions, tigers, bears, low everything, oh my. All right, you with me? So just get into, just embrace it. We're just down in basically half position this whole time, all right? Walk down, four, three, two, one, three, one, two. Over back to the D string. So three, four, two, four, two, three. Four, four, two, four. Two, three, two, one, two. Three, four, three, two. So let's take that from the top. Here we go. Three, one, two. and then we start right back over. Hey everybody, welcome to the advanced tutorial for Pete's Waltz. And I'll just tell you right off the bat, I think it's a wise move for you to go to the basic tutorial and work through the melody so that we can just sort of leap right in and add these double stops all the way along. If you've learned the melody, I did the melody there almost identical 
to how I'm gonna do it here with the double stops. And so if you learn the melody, first of all, it's just really important to learn melodies to tunes. You should know them, that you shouldn't just come at them always from the double stop portion of it. We fiddle players tend to come at tunes from top down. We tend to look at the, the hardest possible thing, the melody, the double stops, all that stuff, and learn that. And then people go, well, what key is that in? Or what are the chords to that? Or what's the melody to that? And we go, I don't know. And, and that really does us a disservice because of a couple things. Number one, when we interact with the people who are gonna play guitar for us or bass for us or piano for us or whatever, we don't have enough information to help them out. And you will see the chords for this will be on the sheet music. So definitely familiarize yourself with that. Even if you're not using the sheet music to learn the tune, run through those chords, get a feel for those in your mind. I think it's really, really important. Number two, it allows us the freedom to, to make some things our own. And because if we know what chords are happening, we know the basic melody is, we can change up a double stop here or there. We can, you know, maybe take a slightly different direction, but still stay true to the tune and kind of make it our own thing. So I really uh, would recommend going and learning the melody and then coming back and doing these double stops because I am going to kind of fly through the melody itself a little bit and just give you the, the double stops. So I just, you know, just fair warning. I don't want you to be mad at me. I want you to be happy and be joyful. That's what we're here for in the midst of a really hard tune, which is gorgeous, so it's worth it. Here we go. Now, right off the bat, I will tell you that Pete Martin, who wrote this waltz, puts double stops right there in the beginning of this. Four and three, three and two, two and one. I do not put those in. I've tried six ways from Sunday to get that nice and clean and whatever, and it didn't work for me. And this is also an important lesson. You know what? I leave it out. Because for me, it's better to just have a nice, smooth intro to the tune and feel successful about what I'm doing rather than feeling nervous and freaked out. This tune's hard enough. I don't need another layer of stress, right? It's gorgeous. So if you want to put it in, do it. But if you want to leave it out, you have my permission. I have I have deemed it perfectly okay. So we're at one and open, two and three, double one, and now three and two. I'm gonna quit doing that. I'm just gonna play it the way I play it. So three, four, add three. Double two, four. So the double two goes the whole way through. Four, four, two, add four. 